Hi guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy. Today we're going to draw this cute little cookie. Begin at the center of your page and draw out a small horizontal line for the top of the cookie's mouth. Then, create a nice open mouth by drawing a big U-shape that connects one point to the other. Draw in a little curve for a tongue and then shade in from the top of the mouth to the top of this curve. To create the first eye, I'm going to come to the right side of my mouth and draw a small curved line that comes towards the corner of the mouth and then a second line that moves away creating a sort of curvy V shape open to the right. Then come to the left side and draw a big oval so that the bottom of the eye is just below the top of the mouth. Draw in a small curve at the bottom of the eye and then a large heart near the top for your first two highlights. Then draw in a small circle just underneath the heart. When you're all done, you can go ahead and shade in your eye. Of course, you can do this later as well. Now let's draw in some eyelashes by bringing our pen back to the top of the eye and just sweeping a small curve outwards and then a second one. To give my cookie some cute cheeks, I'm going to come to the bottom of the oval eye and just draw a curve connecting one side to the other and then drawing a nice oval shape right underneath my winking eye. And now we can make her look extra happy by drawing in some little eyebrows. To begin drawing our cookie's body, place a small dot that's high above the eyebrows and then just start to draw out a circular shape all the way around the face. I'm keeping my edges kind of wobbly because I don't want my cookie to be perfectly smooth and round. I'm leaving a big opening here at the side and that's where I'm gonna put in the little bite marks. You do this just by drawing in some wavy lines to close off your circle. Then come in behind that and just draw a small line and start to copy those wavy lines so that you make your cookie look like it has a front side, a back side, and an inside. Chocolate chip cookies are some of my favorites, so I'm going to make this a chocolate chip cookie, and I'm just going to start drawing in some little round wiggly shapes. It really doesn't matter if they're perfectly round, and I'm going to put them all over my cookie. So if you just draw little circles or little shapes right on top of your cookie, then they're going to look like they're just sort of sitting right on top. But if you want to make them look like they're a little bit peeking out, but mostly baked inside the cookie, then you can just draw in some little lines underneath your little chocolate chips. If you like, you can also just add in some little lines here and there to make your cookie look like it's got some high spots and low spots, just like a fresh baked cookie right out of the oven. Now we're going to bring our cookie even more to life by giving her some arms and legs. So find where your eye is and then draw an arm that's about in the same line from the outside edge of the cookie. You can draw her second arm coming up towards her winking eye as if she's just holding her cheek. For the legs, just come out the bottom of the cookie with two straight lines and add a little circle at the bottom, just like I did for the hands. And there you have a little cookie with some arms and legs. And since she has legs, I'm going to draw in a ground for her to be standing on by just drawing a line that goes from one side of my page to the other. I'm drawing this line just a little bit higher than her feet. Now I'm going to give my cookie some friends, starting with a little chocolate chip. So draw a curved line from the ground, and then at the top make a point and curve a line back down. Add in a little face to make him extra cute. You can also draw in some arms and hands by just drawing small lines and topping them with a little dot. I always love to have things floating around, so I'm going to start with a nice stalk of wheat by drawing out a long curvy line and creating a loop at the top. Then 
Come back down towards the bottom of this stem and start to draw loops on each side so that they look kind of like a heart. And you're going to just keep drawing these loops all the way up the length of that stem until you get towards that top loop. When I'm all done my loops, I'm just going to draw small little lines in between each one just to create some wispy bits. If you plan to color your picture later, you can do this at the end in the same color as your wheat. Now let's come to the other side and we'll draw in another stalk of wheat, but this time we'll attach it to the ground. So draw a curvy line with a loop on top and then come just a little bit above the bottom and start to draw out those loops in that heart shape, one on each side of the stalk the whole way up. And then go ahead and add in the little wispy bits. And let's give our cookie a couple more friends. So over on the left, I'm just going to draw a little chocolate chip. So creating a nice curved line and I want my chocolate chip facing her. So my curved line's sort of leaning towards the cookie and I'm going to make a curved line that's facing the other one so that I can create a nice flat bottom like you're drawing a bell. Then I'm going to draw in a little happy face with a little smile and I'm going to give him some arms. So you can make any kind of face you like. And of course, you don't need to add arms or anything like that. And then finally, I'm going to give her just one more little cookie friend just peeking right out of that little bite mark. So draw out those curvy lines from where you've got your cookies bite mark, make a little point at the top, and then go ahead and add a little face. And last but not least, I'm going to give him just some little cheering happy arms. Thank you so much for drawing with me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned to see if your art's being featured at the end of this video. And until next time, for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.